All right, guys, this one's a bit of a weird one. This is up near um, Brent Cross, but uh, we're going to be going left first exit. You're going to be following signs for Wood Green um, before. Uh, if I zoom in there, you might see Wood Green, but uh, there you go, it just says it right there. But anyways, um, so the weird thing is, over here what happens is there's going to be a giveaway line towards the end. Um, if I kind of pause it there, um, if I point here, you can see the giveaway line. Now this giveaway line is really long. Okay, you can fit two cars easily side by side. Now the student ends up actually following the way these uh, vans have done it and goes towards this left hand side here. What happens is cars come along on the side of them like that one like my second finger just showed all right um so the students on this side and the car comes on the left hand side and goes in front of them now what the examiner says is that these cars here which my finger's moving sorry it's a bit of an unorthodox way of teaching this but these cars here will not be able to see because my student is blocking the view and also what's going to happen is when this, my student here tries to move off then they might go into this car on the left I know it's a bit weird I'll show you in a second what I mean so we're gonna to come to the end here and there. so what ideally we really have to try and do is kind of be in the middle where this sort of triangle is here the giveaway triangle if you're roughly the examiner prefers them to be on this left hand side but let's do my student goes on this side here okay and they come all over here like they see this now there's a lot of distance here for another car to fit and when they fit there what can happen is when you are kind of looking back on yourself on the dual carriage to see if any cars are coming um, you might just realize oh it's clear and then just start moving and there'll be a vehicle right here and you might move towards and that's where the risk is the junction isn't very good in the sense maybe they should have put two lanes or just narrowed it down a bit etc but you know the giveaway line is there to be utilized for you know position anyway but um, have a look now we're going to position here students now looking over the right shoulder on this side here to see and you see a car come up there that that car there is what the examiner is worried about um, when we move off so if I zoom out a little bit okay there so those cars have now moved off they're moving off my student will find a sort of a space to go and they're going to move off at the same time and um, you guys can make your own decision if you think that's going to be risky or not I thought it was a bit harsh but it is what it is and um, you know two three cars have just come on the left hand side that's where we should have been on the left hand side um, and then we've moved off and that other cars moved off and that's all it was and that's what the fail was um, so yeah uh, deep down I think it's a bit harsh but uh, what the examiner is saying is correct in the sense that yes you should have been on the left hand side but the problem has been sometimes when they've been on the left hand side then these sort of cars who have who were uh, overtaking us on the left have blocked our view on the right hand side so it's almost as if you go on the inside part then um, you can't win <laughs> and you can't uh, you might go into another car let me just rewind that a bit sorry yeah so if you end up going on this side here then the exam is worried you're going to go into the car over this side here which we didn't really at all and if you are on this side here where this car will be now that little mini cooper um if you are there then what happens is if this car edges a bit then you can't see anything uh coming past so you're gonna have to wait so i don't know it's just my opinion that i think that either way is correct um i'm sure you guys will have your own ideas but just so that you know where this is this is a hendon test route and that's going towards uh wood green and this is joining the north circular a406 um and brent cross is just on your left hand side before so yeah just so that you guys know if you're following routes and trying to understand markings and stuff this is one of the tricky sort of ones